all live in a really connected world. Um, we're increasingly dependent on communication networks, um, socially and for business, uh, for entertainment, for everything. So what we do in the telecommunications theme, we ask what will telecommunication networks of the future look like? The world is changing very rapidly, uh, and that's because uh, connectivity is becoming ubiquitous. We want to build future-proof networks, so networks that are able to sustain the bandwidth, all the applications that we may need in the future, but that are sustainable in the meaning that they are cost-effective and also they are very sustainable from a power consumption point of view. There are a finite range of frequencies that we can exploit and as we design more and more wireless systems we're exploiting more and more of those. But it's like any resource, we need to recycle and reuse resources and it's the same way you might think about other resources in your life. It's just because it's an invisible resource sometimes people find it hard to imagine how you recycle and reuse radio waves. CTVR is a national telecommunications research centre. It's headquartered here in Trinity. It's funded by Science Foundation Ireland and there are about 100 researchers. The work that's involved there has been on uh, optimising uh, uh, coverage. We have a, a femtocell test bed. We have our own little cellular system set up out in Blanchestown. And so you can experiment with a genuine cell phone system. The universities get the opportunity of, of collaborating and getting into the heart of a cell phone system. We are looking at fiber access networks, so what is called fiber to the home. We believe that's the only solution which is really future-proof. There are some intermediate solutions that could be applied and they might be cheaper in the short term, but eventually they will have to be replaced. The solution that you develop for Ireland, you know, they can be applied everywhere. We came up with this concept that we're calling networks without borders. And it's exactly this idea that we're no longer constrained by the way that these networks got deployed, but that we see the wireless network as, as a pool of resources where you can mix and match from resources and virtually create a wireless network. I'm looking at ways to essentially try and get rid of passwords. Passwords have a lot of problems. There's too many of them for us to remember. We can pick good ones. And more seriously, they leak out. So you have a lot of cases where um, websites have lost their database of passwords. And then what we're looking at more is an attempt to provide a way for you with your browsers to do a kind of a pairwise authentication with websites. And I think the hope there is that uh, by doing this in a more pairwise way, you kind of give more control back to the user. In an area called cognitive radio and dynamic spectrum access, uh, Trinity has established a, a, a very big name internationally. The way we try to affect people's lives is by getting the technologies out there and getting them actually put into products. We license some of our ideas, we set up uh, spin-out companies um, and we work with industry partners who would also adopt some of our ideas. It's very exciting to be in a field that moves fast enough that you actually can have such an expectation that maybe what we're creating now and what we're designing now uh, can become reality in just a few years. There are lots of really brilliant uh, emerging ideas in, in fixed and wireless networks that really point a way to the future.